There are some actors who are so cool, so captivating on screen, they make their mark the first time they appear. That was the case with Lauren Bacall, who has died at the age of 89. Bacall made her Hollywood debut at the age of 19 with Humphrey Bogart, who is 25 years her senior, and their chemistry crackled on screen and off. Eric Sorensen looks back at the life of one of the last stars of Hollywood's golden age. Lauren Bacall had the look. She also had the voice. I like that. I'd like more. Soon she had Humphrey Bogart, smitten, one of Hollywood's biggest stars. The usual one. I didn't know there was a usual one. Oh, sure there is. A In their first film, he was 44, she was 19. But the look, the voice. You don't have to say anything and you don't have to do anything. And then came the line. Oh, maybe just whistle. One of the most famous Hollywood lines ever. You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? You just put your lips together and blow. They would marry one year later. Anybody get a match? They starred together in several films. They were the iconic Hollywood couple when Bogart died of cancer at just 57. I was so lucky to have had him, you know, to have had that life and had that romance and had the, the whole everything that happened to me at once. Bacall became a star in her own right, playing opposite the most famous leading men, as well as Marilyn Monroe in How to Marry a Millionaire. That's where Freddie and I got married. You mean you married that crowbar? Bacall dated Frank Sinatra and was married to Jason Robards. She would triumph on stage, winning Tony Awards twice. When Hollywood honored Bacall for a lifetime of achievement, she still had that sultry voice. I can't believe it. And a cheeky way. A man at last. <laughs> As for the look, the famous chin down, eyes up, Bacall said it came from nerves. Her head would shake so badly. I had no confidence in myself, and I found that the only way I could keep it still would be to just hold my head down and then look up. She outlived Humphrey Bogart by 57 years. But she'll be remembered best for that time of her life, when Bogey and Bacall were just about the most famous couple in the world. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.